Good morning. It's about 8.30 now, I think, in the morning. Um, first day of showings for the film festival. Um, it's not a nice day outside. It's really not a nice day outside. Um, let me take you to the window and I'll show you. Um, yeah. <sighs> you can see. Can see very well. It was really windy last night. And this is the uh, ex hurricane that's come to us today. So, uh, gonna be interesting, I think. Um, I'll show you the drive down to where we're showing today. It's a very interesting drive. And then, uh, go from there. I might tell you things, some which you won't believe. I want to view the signals that control your brain. I need a taste. I need your That's the uh, first film shown. Uh, went down very well. Uh, feature film was called Blue. Um, it was about the plastics in the ocean and things like that. Um, so yeah, everybody seemed to enjoy it, which was good. Uh, just going to give you a, a, essentially a little bit of a lowdown about um, what we've got, what I'm working with at the moment, and, uh, and then I'm off to explore a little bit. And obviously, you'll be coming with me. This is the main setup, as you, can, as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess. Um, but we've got a uh, NEC projector, a high quality projector. I'm not sure on the exact details of it. Um, but it's bright and it's a very high quality projector. Um, and I'm just using it from my laptop. Um, so we had a hard drive of all these films. Um, so I've just transferred it over onto my laptop to show it on there. Um, and then audio-wise, last year when I was working on it, there were some holes that had not very good acoustics. As you can hear in here, it's quite a lively room. Um, so I decided to bring in just a couple of things just to kind of help it tone down a bit. Uh, so I've got interface here, so it goes from the computer into my little Behringer interface here um, and then that is going into this little mixer um, and just to the two channels there so send it stereo um, with EQ on it as well because the other stereo channels don't have EQ on it so so I could EQ it out um, everything like that and then that's getting sent to everything's Behringer pretty much this uh, Behringer amplifier um, which is then going to the speakers that you can see up there. Uh, so they're just kind of generic. IB for the call, just the brand. Uh, speakers, they're not too bad. Um, then there's a D in this box, the stage box, there's a D DVD player as well. Um, and yeah, so uh, this is the screen, as you can see. Uh, it's a fairly, it's a small screen actually for, um, Right, but you know, it's, it's good, it does its job, but it's folded up as you can see, all folds down really easily, and it's very light as well. Um, it's just in three parts, uh, so yeah, it's very good. And this is the hall, um, it's a very it's a nice hall, it's got a little cafe attached to it, and we've had to black out the windows with <laughs> uh, black bags. Um, which is doing its job. So, uh, right, that is the setup. So, it's, uh, I'm outside. It's very windy. <laughs> um, this is the space.
So I've just stopped off um, at this place, just around the corner from where I'm showing these films. Um, and I saw it yesterday when I was coming over. Um, and I was wondering what it was, so I asked the person I was with at the time. Um, it's a wreckage of a plane that was, I think, uh, World War II. Um, essentially, it didn't. It was training or something like that. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, um, but it crashed uh, on the on this hillside, and yeah, and the, the wreckage, some of the wreckage is still there. So I'm just going to go down and see it, and uh, it's weird. But I'll go see it. This is the plane. Uh, you can see got some behind me there. Um, part of a wing up there as well, just behind my thumb. Um, then down here we've got more. Um, then down the wing there as well. Um, yeah, it's weird. Really weird. walking back up the hill to the uh, to the car and it's, it's just weird how <coughs> usually you'll have to, you know, I say modern day plane crashes are uh, different but well they're not different but six people died I think um, in this and uh, I think I was told that three people did survive but it's they've left the wreckage here as you know it's kind of kind of a memorial to them by the looks of it um, which is nice I find um, I mean it's a, a beautiful place I mean you can't not think that this place is uh, not beautiful you know it's incredible you get out of the shot yeah it's a beautiful place um, but yeah to be able to see that. the only airport in the world where it's runway no time like runway or anything like that it's a whole beach and that's it and I'm just getting hit with sand here yeah the only airport in the world which is a beach so This weather is really not letting up. Absolutely crazy out there. Have a look. Hearing it in the hall is incredible. Um, yeah, it's a crazy day, crazy weather day. That's 
um, that's the first day of showings done now. Um, it was a good day, good turnout, despite the weather. It's been horrible, as you as you probably seen over the course of this video. Um, but yeah, we are. Um, same place tomorrow with four showings rather than three that we had today. Um, so a little bit less time, not much time to explore anymore or anything like that this time, but hey well. Um, and then, uh, and it's up early the next morning to head off to a new place. Um, one thing I did fail to mention, I've been sniffing a lot. I uh, got back from London on Thursday last week and Friday I started coming down with a bloody cold. It took ages to come on. But of course, it came, it came on on uh, what was it Monday, I think it was. Um, so yeah, not too bad. I live with it. Just kind of knocking myself up on power seat and one ibuprofen because it's. Ugh. Messing me head a lot. Um, ah, it's just a cold. Everybody has a cold every year, don't they? So, um, yeah, so I'm just now in, back in the B&B, listening to the wind outside, and uh, just going to edit this video. And then, uh, work on some stuff for tomorrow. <laughs> right, so, uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.